Kingfish has always been a great passion of mine, but I wanted to see inside the nest. I decided to build a riverbank out of a large shed and develop that into a Kingfisher nest inside. The fish pass is a really important part of the courtship. This is one of the moments that you know they're cementing their bond. And when they do come together and start mating, there's always this little tension between them. The eggs are laid over a seven day period. I switched the cameras on one afternoon and saw there was this white egg on camera. And at half six every morning she came in and laid another egg. When these newborn chicks are hatched, they're bald, they're pink. They actually stand really upright. They're almost like little pterodactyls. She throws the pellet and then shreds the pellet with the beak deliberately to make a little bed and arranges it all around her. There's a lot of attention from the female and a lot of attention from the male. His main job is to bring as many fish as possible. He's then got to align in the bar with this fish that looks a little bit oversized for a tiny little chip to swallow. Often they manage to swallow these fish and it's an extraordinary feat, really. On about 12 days, the female becomes quite absent as she's starting to lay the next brood. And the male is there to let the soul charge of these chips. It's starting to get pretty unsaid about 20 days and we've been telling shit. All of these kingfisher colours come in, the orange, the blues, the turquoise. On the 28th day, I've got these chicks in the nest that are going round and round in circles and they're getting really hungry. They just suddenly decide, they rush down the nesting burrow and literally launch themselves straight out. They have days to master the art of fishing. It's really special to catch this whole sequence at the early stages of the next being laid due to the chicks being fledged. I've watched them for probably thousands of hours and I can watch them again for thousands of hours because I'm always learning little nuggets of information. They just stun a little bit.